we're going to show you how we go about masking carpet. We're going to be painting some baseboards and we're going to show you how to mask it off to keep the paint off the carpet. And there's two things you can do. You can mask with a hand masker, a 3M hand masker in 9 inch paper and 1 inch tape if you're actually going to spray the uh, baseboard or you can just use 1 inch tape if you're going to be brushing and rolling your baseboards. And we just take one inch tape and we use a method that we actually just tuck this tape underneath the baseboards and carpet and we just walk along tucking with our fingers and you can get there's a gap where the tack strip is and you can actually tuck that tape underneath the baseboards just like that and if you're brushing the baseboards, you'd go back and brush the baseboards with your paint. And while the paint is still wet, you actually want to take and pull off the masking. Otherwise, you'll get paint bridging from the masking to your trim. So once you pull the masking, it actually just fluffs the carpet back up. And up high enough, the pile will come back up over your trim. And you won't even see the bottom just like that. You can also use a hand masker and do the same method and we just it's tucking the, the tape and we'll be using paper at the same time and you'll just set your paper here and just use your fingers just to walk it along the tape and just tuck it underneath your baseboards. You just got to take your time, walk on your fingers. So you're actually taking, putting the, the tape up against the baseboard a little bit. So you don't want it out here. You want it to be up against the baseboard just a little bit so it actually tucks and goes underneath. So it's actually touching the baseboard about an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch. And now if we were spraying our baseboards, we'd go along... We spray our baseboards now, and it's the same thing. You want to take and pull your masking while it's wet so you don't get any bridging. So you pull it, and it actually fluffs the carpet up about an eighth of an inch, and so it hides the bottom of the baseboards. And that's how you go about masking carpet using our tuck and tape method.